So you guys look at my hair and you say, but yours is curly. No, it's not. It's lazy. My mom's is lazy. My father's is straight. And he might cut it to get a little wave on the side, but it's straight. And I can show you a picture of his being straight. What is the difference? There's actually a genetic, what? In order for Teresa and I to be full-blooded sister is not possible. Not with how different our hair is. Why? And I'll show you the genetics of this. First of all, I've shown you that with DNA tracing, um, extremely curly hair, I'm, I'm sorry if this is coming off as offensive, but I'm just trying to trace hair. Um, that is, uh, there is, a, there is a genetic reason why people from Africa have the hair that they do, and I'll go into why. Um, and I'll give you an article below, but when it's, sorry to use this term if you're offended, but kinky, like what Therese is displaying is very, it's between kinky and curly, is, um, a trait genetically found to have originated in Sub-Saharan Africa, and there's actually a reason for it, and it has to do with its hot, and um, it acts as a buffer, a sunscreen for their face, to their extremities, their body, and their brain. Okay, um, when you're north, where it's cold, you don't need curly hair, so there's not a need for it. Now, genetically speaking, when someone has curly hair, that is formed as, um, they write that as two large C's, the gen genetics of someone, say, from purely from Africa. Okay. Now I've given you Teresa's descent as to why it would make sense that, yes, yeah, she's Jewish. Her Jewish ancestry would be picking up this hair. I'll show you there's entire tribes in Africa who would come from Jewish descent and just show you the migration on the last video. Um, so I'm not making this up. Now you might say, but you know there are parts um, in Europe that they have curly hair. Yeah, but you need to be careful in looking at the different types. There's a difference between kinky curly and curly curly. Now, genetically speaking, again, curly curly is two giant C's, which is not to be confused with wavy. Now, why this might be is there were time periods in um, with colonialization that slaves were brought to Europe or America to do some things. They work on plantations. That. Now, if you track, for example, you're saying Italy, well, some Italians can have curly hair. Again, be careful because it's not quite the same. I'm not trying to be offensive, but there's a kinkiness back to it, um, which does have to do with evolutionary development of being in extremely hot conditions. Now, the Italians might have that because of the Moors. There was a migration to Africans to the Moors heading into Sicily, um, and so where people land. Um, so it doesn't make sense when you now you oh but there's some redheads that um, that have curly hair. There are redheads who are Jewish too. There are redheads who are black. You have to be careful and just like redhead means this. And predominantly speaking, the redheads don't necessarily have curly hair. They tend to have wavy hair unless they are Jewish or have a, a black ancestry. Don't tell me that there are black people with red hair. I just saw a little bit with this the other day. I was like, oh, okay. Or what, a, or what a rare type that is. So in order to get um, wavy hair, it is written like, so curly hair is a large CC, and I'll show you the genetics, but this is just genetics, you can't really argue around it. And the um, straight hair is um, large SS, okay? To get wavy hair, it's a combination of both. So you look at my mom's hair, her hair is not curly, it is wavy like mine. You look at my father's hair and it is straight. So Teresa cannot have, genetically speaking, developed CC and kinky on top of that hair from parents who have wavy or straight hair. It's just not possible. So, um. Where are you from? Uh, California. America? Yeah. And what are, what are you doing uh, uh, here? Uh, nothing. Just trying to get money to move to the next place. Yeah, where? Where? I don't know. I don't know. It just depends on how much money I get. Yeah, I'm also from Africa. Uh-huh. From Ghana. Uh-huh. When did you come to Spain? I came to Spain almost 10 years. Okay, so it's been a while. Yeah. 10 years now I'm here and I'm, I'm working in the market selling things, you know? Okay.
It's a little hard with the jobs here. Everyone complains it's kind of hard. Yeah, you know, but if you look, ask for a job, you can find something. Yeah, you can find something. What's your name, please? Kara. Kara. My name is Emmanuel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So where do you sleep? The street. Huh? The street. In the street? Yeah. I, there's a place if you can sleep there, you know, you can you can take my normal then you will call. Oh no, it's okay. I prefer to sleep. I just had too many weird experiences, so I prefer to sleep ah, in nature. Ah, okay. If you it's, prefer like yeah. that. Yeah, thank you though. Okay. I appreciate it. Take care. Yeah, thanks. Have a good day. Okay. It's topical, so it's not real. But, um, so with C... So in order to get wave, it's just genetics. This is a CS hair, okay? Um, which is not the same as CC, okay? So it is not genetically possible for Teresa to have my, to share the parents that we have and have the hair that she has. It's completely outrageous, actually. So I'll show you all this genetics below.